Okay everyone, Mama's working, so we're going to do a video by uh, Puddle of Mud that was requested and uh, I'll play it and then uh, show you what we're doing. example of golf heads uh, video on volume control because um, what you do is you you got distortion on your amp but you turn your guitar volume down so you're not driving the amp so hard and you can get this cleaner sound in the beginning summer loving oh sorry I digress then you can turn your guitar volume up, give yourself the distortion, and play along with the chords. Welcome to Summer Lovin'. No, I'm kidding. It sounds like it, but uh, if you're familiar with the Grease movie. Uh, this song by Puddle of Mud, uh, pretty simple in, in, in its construction. Four chords, F to... Uh, a sharp, G, and C. We're tuned a half step down, um, and the reason is I watched them play it live, and even in the video they're playing uh, these chords. So you can do this regular tune if you play E, A, and then F sharp to B. So um, same theory there you're just moving everything a half step down so with that said what we're doing here is we're going to start out with we're going to hit the F note and basically um, the A note on the third string we're going to be pedaling off of that string kind of going back and forth so then you hit the open A string to A sharp and now you're going to hit the third string at the third fret we're going to do an octave of that B so what we have so far is this. Then we're going to just move that up and we're going to go open an E string kind of quickly and hit the G. And then go to the third string again, but now we've moved it up another step or half step to the fourth fret. When you come to the C, we're going to hit the uh, fourth and third string. And that kind of brings you around. Then when you come back, you're going to hit the open E string to the F. The C you just kind of hit. You're not hitting the open because that's too many notes. So you're going from the G. So you're going right from the G to the C. So let's go through this from the beginning slowly. I'm just using chord forms. slight damping there when he hits that third string so it's it's more of a feel um, just feel your way through it don't make it too complicated when he plays it live he does it a little bit sloppier not worrying about just hitting that uh, third string kind of playing the whole chord but if you're playing along with the record, he's really only hitting a single note. There is a second guitar in here, and he kind of comes in when they go back to the F chord. And what he's playing, he's hammering on from on the 4th string from the 10th fret to the 12th, and then hitting the 3rd string at 10. 
So you hear that played in there, and then when they kick it all in, he's back in with the rhythm guitar. But if you have two guitars, it kind of adds a little fill and sounds nice. Um, once they kick it in, the chords are the same as you're playing the notes. You're going F to A sharp, and then G to um, C. And you kind of want to add. You want to add those open notes. Except for the C. The C doesn't have that open A. So. Which you kind of, again, that's what you lose if you're playing it uh, in normal tuning. Solo uh, is pretty simple too. Uh, good excuse to get out your wah-wah pedal, give it a little distortion, and uh, here it is at speed. Okay, so I turned the wah-wah pedal off, and what we're doing is basically the same chord. We're going to be on the 3rd string, 14th fret, 4th string, 15th fret, and we're referencing that F chord. So we're going to do... Then I like to take my first finger, move that up to the 15th fret, and play basically the 4th and 3rd string there. You can catch the 2nd also, no big deal. And then you're going to hammer on and pull off from the 3rd string at 16 and 4th string at 17. And then hit a double stop at 17 on the 4th and 3rd string. Again, if you catch a 2nd, that's fine. pretty much what he does throughout the whole lead. Um, playing live, he plays some uh, G. You can play some G pentatonic uh, licks in there also, but uh, again, if you're using your wah and playing along with the song, this is what he's doing in the uh, recorded version. So that's the whole song. I hope it helps everyone. A lot of fun to play with. Enjoy.